So the first question says, what is the locator for P sub 11? So the first thing that we want to do is we want to remember what is the locator formula? Well, the locator formula is L is equal to K times N divided by 100. So I need to identify what those values are. Okay, so I know that N, the total number of data set here is 20. And I'm looking for the Lth percentile or the location of the Lth percentile. So we are going to substitute those values in and we can use a calculator to type this whole thing in. If you are using a calculator, please remember to do this all in one step. You need to insert a parenthesis first, okay? And then you would just put like a times here if you wanted to on your calculator. So multiply those two on the calculator and then you would press the divide button to get 100. You should try making sure you know how to use your calculator because that's one of the most common mistakes is that just students don't know how to work with um, fractions, especially when there's multiple things happening. So if you grabbed your calculator and you tested it out, you should get that the L value is going to be 2.2. So we have the case where it's not a whole number, which means we need to round up to the next whole number and the value of the kth percentile, so the thing we're looking for here, will be the Lth value counting from the lowest. So if L is three, I round it up, okay? I'm gonna come to my, oh yeah, that's part B. So what is the value for the Lth, uh, the 11th percentile? It's gonna be the third value from the lowest. So one, two, three, there it is. And I simply write my answer as P sub 11, the 11th percentile is equal to 19.5. If there was units in here, like 19.5 points or, $19.50, whatever the units would be, I would include it here, but we don't have any units. This is just practicing the skill. So these are the steps we wanna take. Formula first, working vertically. Remember, we keep the left side present. You saw an example of what happens when I personally run out of room. I just bring it on over here and then just box your final answers. So what if you get a question that says, what is the value for the 15th percentile? Well, I liked part A and part B because it helped me remind myself what I needed to do to answer part B. Notice that's taken away with part C. So that it's not telling you to do this first, but we as a student need to know that. So let's go ahead and grab this formula again. But since it's part C, I don't need to write the formula twice. I do just need to go ahead and get started. So I know N is still 20, and this time I'm looking for the 15th percentile. So that will be the K value that we have here. So grabbing a calculator or doing some quick calculations here, we can see that the L value will be three. So that is a whole number. So what do we do if it's a whole number? Well, we are going to locate the Lth and the L plus one. So three would be L and then three plus four, that would, or three plus one, that would be four. So we wanna find the third and the fourth value, which are right here, third and fourth value. And what did we wanna do with it? We want to find the middle of it, which means we need to take the average. We take the average by adding two numbers and then dividing by two. And that gives us the middle number.